Hi there, Awakening Showgirls. It's Kelita coming to you live from the Feathers Nest. And this is part two of What Do You Practice? And I'm going to give you a brief recap of part one so that um, you can be on the same page with me here, even if you didn't see it. So I proposed in part one that everything we do at every moment, we're practicing something. Um, a practice can be intellectual, emotional, physical, spiritual, all at once. So anything we think, anything we do, um, anything we feel, especially on a regular basis, is a practice. And I gave you a gentle challenge to notice, um, I, I even said hourly, um, for one day, for one 24-hour period, not waking yourself up at night, but when you're awake to notice about hourly what you're practicing. And I gave myself that, that same homework. And oh my God, yesterday. <laughs> It was yesterday that I did it. First of all, let me tell you, I found that hourly was um, too frequent for me to check in, but I did check in to see what I was practicing many times yesterday, and <sighs> deep sigh, yesterday was a day that I was practicing, uh, when I stopped and, and checked in, I was practicing thoughts of... Um, comparing myself to other people. Um, I was also practicing making up stories. Um, yikes. Imagination is a wonderful thing. I have a vivid imagination. Um, I was using my imagination yesterday frequently to imagine why someone didn't get back to me via email or why I wasn't chosen to do um, you know, chosen to perform in a show or participate in a project. Oh my gosh. And um, those practices took me outside of my natural flowing love and acceptance, um, my natural state of, of, of bliss. Um, so I felt that and I noticed that. And yeah, yeah, I could say a lot more about that. But right now I will just say that I was really grateful for, um, for my conscious practices that I um, cultivate on purpose of one of them, um, doing showgirl dance movements. So I actually found myself, and I want to do this with you right now. Once more, we did it. We did it in the last one. You may not have participated, but I actually need it right now. So I'd like you to, wherever you are, um, raise your arms, just like this. Feel that someone's lightly pressing on your shoulders. Yes, and notice how, when you raise your arms, your chest opens up. Have a deep breath with me here. Yes, your chest opens up. So this is a state of active receptivity. I'm active because my arms are engaged and they're reaching towards the sky. So there's some, there's actually, you know, there's, um, there's muscle attention. I'm not completely relaxed, but I am opening my, my chest and I'm assuming a physical stance of receiving and vulnerability and openness. Mm -hmm. So this simple movement, I'm gonna, yeah, um, is one little taste of medicine, of showgirl awakening medicine. There are many, um, many more tools, physical and intellectual and emotional that I practice, but that one simple one was one, was one that I um, pulled out yesterday to um, 
actively treat myself with some love as my imagination was taking me on a not so great feeling path. Another one was uh, taking a walk. Oh my gosh, it took me a while, but I left my workspace and actually walked out into the world <laughs> and walked through. It was a beautiful full moon last night and I was out as it was going from uh, daytime to dusk into evening. And that, that was, a, that was a practice, a practice of being outside in nature, semi. I was near a park, an urban park, <laughs> and appreciating uh, the beauty of the natural world, the moon. Um, yes, so, um, so much more to share on this. And um, mm, for now, let's just end, let's end with that same pose. Yes, yes. So much appreciation for you, my fellow Awakening Showgirl. Until soon. <laughs>